Hi guys, it's Dr. Shamima Sitaruna from the YouTube channel Dr. To Help. Today we are going to talk about boil. Today is going to be the last video of the skin disease series. Today we are going to talk about boil, carbuncle, and abscess. Mainly boil. That's how it starts, right? So it's very, very common. And if you can catch it early and you can treat it with home remedies. So we are making this video so that you can take care of it at home and you prevent future infection and complication as well. So what is boil? Boil is an infection of hair follicle caused by Staph aureus. We carry this Staph aureus normally usually in our armpit, our nostrils, in the crease of the buttocks, between the legs, and also in our nail beds. Do you know that our skin is our largest organism in the body? Yes, when it is intact, it gives us the biggest defense against any infection. So when we scratch somewhere, we have small skin break. That's our way of introducing infection. So when a hair follicle is infected it becomes red and a small red bump is seen on the skin at this stage what can you do to prevent it from getting any worse you can take antiseptic soap wash like a shower every day with an antiseptic soap or bar and use it daily and that will help to maintain good hygiene two you can also use an antiseptic ointment Clean that area, use that antiseptic ointment, and then cover it with a clean gauze. All right? Three, what else can you do? You can put heat compression. Heat compression, like warm paper towel or good clean cloth. You can soak it with warm water, apply it at that area 15 to 30 minutes, three to four times a day. What it does, it liquefies the pus breaks it down, make it liquid, and if there's an opening, it usually drains out, so it does not form an abscess. If you still have it, you need to go see your doctor and get oral antibiotic, all right? So if all those four measures did not do, you need to go and see your doctor and get the oral antibiotic. Even that doesn't help. He may have to do an incision and drain it and drain that pus out, all right? If you keep on having this, recurrently several times a year you may have a conversation with your doctor and he can give you an anti antibiotic ointment that you apply in your nose twice a day for prevention so those are the things you can do who are who are the people that are prone to this kind of infection people who are immunocompromised like diabetic people people with cancer on after organ transplant on immunosuppressive suppressive therapy People who are alcoholic, who has anemia, who lives in a poor hygienic condition, in a crowded condition, those will those people are prone to these infections. But remember, if you catch it early, you can take care of it at home. So you don't want to let it go further. So that's why we are showing a few pictures here. I'm also going to put in a few more common skin disease, just pictures with their name. That way you are familiar with it. And if you ever see it, you can talk to your doctor and seek help and address it. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. If you don't like it, leave a comment. I will address it. And thank you for joining me in today's video. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.